G'day guys, welcome to another tournament game. This is round two now, and we have Godwin here on the German team from UK, seeded number five, up against Battle Ace on the USA team from USA, seeded number 13. It looks like a mismatch of seeds here, but in fact Battle Ace is on form and has improved of, of late, so it should be a very close game in my opinion. You'll see Godwin coming with the Assault Squad, not a regular squad, and coming with a single MG buy within the Assault Squad. Interesting. So, 75 MP for an MG. That's very, very high. You could nearly get an assault squad, in my opinion. So it's um, mm, it's an interesting one that MG. Very, very expensive. They nerfed it quite a lot. Maybe a bit too much. Godwin here. Oh, bad luck there. Tries to grenade the entry there, but cannot. He went a bit short there. So doing the cover destruction destruction there. Coming over here. He's going to try sneaky cap behind over here, and on the eastern side is not capping anything. As Battle Ace has chosen Farmland again in USA, it's his home ground advantage. So this seems like his favoured map and favoured side, as the Germans are struggling to capture the centre. Western side again unopposed, as we saw versus Takisakis. Battle Ace did not send anybody there, so he likes to go centre and onto his eastern point. And we have Godwin here, coming from the side here. Oh, nice flank. It's quite interesting there. It's very nice flank indeed. Um, oh, just misses the kill there. And it's going up to Godwin. But, oh, there it goes. So SMG decides to fire and takes him out and caps that. So Godwin does have the outer flags. Center flag is still... Oh, it's actually still in... Still contested here. MG can kill that guy over here. And this grenade could be thrown nicely, but... Oh hidden guy next to that chimney there. Takes out Godwin. Surprised him. Uh, got Godwin with his pants down. So Godwin here. Very macro-esque player. He does buy quite well and plays with his mind. Not very good at micro. He's quite an old fella as I know that micro skills go down the drain when you get older. But I do have the Asian-like reflexes so when I get older um, I still have those reflexes, but not as good when I was in my teens when I used to play in uh, competitions back then. So my micro, and Godwin's micro is definitely not as good as when they were younger. Oh, shotgunner turns around, buckshot. Oh, two shotgunners there ambushed by Godwin's troops over here and take takes him out. Wow, look at his neck. It's like retarded. But there it goes. So he killed the shotgunners, center here. Uh, still. Battle aces with the majority of forces, but still holding on to the far far points. So he should be starting to tick now. But so far, it's quite close, zero to zero at the moment. Uh, Battle ace. I can't put my finger on how he plays. It seems like he plays quite fast and just all rounder at the moment. Seems quite good at infantry. But Godwin here pressuring the right hand side. Going to try uh, aim or shoot down the center from here and also cover the right. This is a good position to be in right here and here to cover the center too. And coming out to force a three cap it seems for Godwin. Perhaps with a few guys over here. So here comes the assault squad spam here from Godwin it seems. This is uh, the third or third or second assault squad. And we see here Battle Ace coming up with an assault squad down here with one SMG behind this uh, house that may do some back shooting. Not to be known. Oh, side shooting in fact. Another side shot. No, this time he gets the one and he gets it to the back there. So karma on that fella. Um so Battle Ace captures the Eastern and holds on to the center and the points will start ticking towards him soon. Six points to Godwin, zero to Battle Ace, and the SMG guy is the highest scoring for both of these players. Um, so those who don't have the beta, you can see basically the top three um, scoreboard um, units. So it says the SMG has three points, so three kills, two score and one score to the assault. So really nothing yet, only infantry so far. A big swing of a force here by the MG kind of Mr. Battle Ace here. A bit caught out in the open, but they've now hold down in prone position. Always what you should do for your new players. As soon as you see an enemy, you just duck them down in prone and they can shoot more accurately and really lay down some fire on your troops. So even though they're not behind cover, they're actually doing decent shooting off some troops over here. But shotgun over here. Shut no, sorry, MG42 over here, pinning down that area and also oh, uh, the SDG44 from the Assault Squad leader with very good accuracy. But wow, Battle Ace has got decent. The center. 2 to 2 by from Godwin. So trying to hold on. Pushing up the center as well. 
Sniper on the field here as well, doing quite well. M8 is on the field here by Battle Ace, but not being able to shoot in this area here where it's definitely needed. But 2 to 2 may be coming for a kill. It's actually going to play aggressive. This is not Godwin style, this is Greek style. Very light tank S, but wow, this is, um, wow. That's ballsy from the Godwin. The English gentleman here doesn't want to play a safe and numbers game. He wants to go in there and just takes that. That's actually I guess, quite calculated because um, Battle Ace wouldn't really have a counter at that stage. He's probably waiting for a Stuart to come out and Godwin doing quite well to already have got eyes on the spawn here and you can see that Stuart coming now. So that's what uh, Battle Ace is doing. Godwin timed that quite perfectly in fact. That is why Godwin is one of, I guess, one of the contenders to do well in this tournament. And the winner of this will go play myself in round three. Oh, M8 destruction there, so nice self-destruct battle ace. And he's going to return the favor of being very aggressive, but might walk into a grenade. It's a rifleman. Oh, the main gun damage is not destroyed. So rifleman um, does survive. Nothing here from Godwin to take it out yet. 2-2-2 two, two, two in a position where it's hiding. So, wow, he's really, really, it's, they're both of these players just really wanting to take out the counter. Oh, almost point blank. Can't he see it? Oh, what the hell was that, Battle Ace? He just ran in there on his side. He probably didn't have line of sight. He just thought it was somewhere over here, but wow. I would have thought he had line of, it was so close. I would have thought he would have had line of sight on that. So 2-2-2 two, two, two now is king once again. It can pretty much go it down to the left hand side and start pushing now since the steward is dead but Battle Ace is in the lead 12 to 6 not by all means Godwin's victory now even though he's lost the counter for the 2 to 2 as Battle Ace um, that's not sure what he means by that because uh, Stuart um, the Stuart um, does lose to a P3 at that range um, definitely Battle Ace is not actually a uh, I guess a long-standing Men of War AS player. He debuted in the first Men of War AS2 competition. Just to fill in some the gaps here, basically we're missing a player. Uh, so he was quite new then, and he was actually very new then and didn't put up any fight whatsoever. But oh, Godwin gets hit by the grenade by Battle Ace. A bit awkward there by Godwin running into that grenade. But now he's, he's learnt a lot and he's now a contender to even beat the likes of Godwin here. Godwin capping the center with the Brandenburger there. And Western Point in jeopardy. Marines coming up here. Assault squad leader here. Going to get grenaded. Marines now poised to capture it. And to fill the gaps here, Godwin has bought an assault squad straight off. So quick to fill the gaps. Marines though coming in. He's going to try cap. He's capping it with the Marines. Just frontally there. He's going to meet a full assault squad soon. Probably needs a bit more reinforcements. Has grenaded the wall there to do a bit of sneaky capping as well. But all oh, that uh, building has impaled him. He's impaled his leg there. Grenades here from God. Panzer Grenadiers. Panzer Grenadier. Hmm. I don't think he bought a Panzer Grenadier um, squad. He must have bought one of these. Not too sure which one though. Ooh, Panzer Grenadier, it's the AT, so he bought this one. Mm, I'm not a fan of that. 175 MP for a bazooka. Half the price, when in fact it doesn't get used much, in my opinion. We'll see how it goes. That's centre here. No, sorry, Western here. Battle Ace, capping it. Trying to cap it from the sneaky cap, but uh, it being outcapped by the SMG over here. And Eastern Point, we see Battle Ace holding with the skin of his teeth. Godwin pressuring from here. But has a free repair on the Stuart, which he is repairing. Center is now going to Battle Ace. So Godwin struggling to get a hold of the flag. See, Battle Ace looking quite good in this game and in the tournament. Um, quite fast indeed. Junito and Battle Ace play quite similar to each other, in fact. They're just fast to get on the flags, good at infantry. A um, few mistakes with tanks. But very, very... Um, Decent play by both players, in fact. Uh, they do a lot of moves, which just are good moves. Reminds me of just uh, well, how they should play. That's the same, same thing that I would do, perhaps watching my videos too much. Uh, Sparrow Trooper is coming here on the left hand side. So, wants the big infantry push to capture a flag. 
get the points sticking up to Mr. Godwin. Godwin holding the flag here though with the Brandenburger 34. Not a bad position here, being able to cover. But Godwin can force the 3-cap more with just moving a few more guys in that here to maybe this route here. And just sneaky cap it and force the 3-cap and really pressure Godwin to a, a quick death. But Paris is coming in, shouldn't have problems. I don't think there's much here. There is an MG over here though. But couldn't fire. Um, couldn't kill that troop over there, but got him. Maybe able to get a grenade over that house, which I think he's doing. Priority target, most definitely on the field. We've seen MG. So there goes that BAR. Coming up, we have the croc here. Standard uh, American play, which you should always buy as an American. So capping the flag now. Gonna try fill the gaps. Paras are running as well. Flaming here, but oh no! Do we have a crash here? Let me have a look. Uh, says he's still in the game. His ping is not really moving. Three six seven. He's offline, so it looks like we do have a crash or a steam. Um, there it goes. So connection has been lost. Godwin has been lost. So we'll see what happens. It's up to Battle Ace to see if uh, he wants to replay this, but really if you drop there's uh, no tolerance on that unfortunately, so I'm um, pretty sure though Godwin, uh, Battle Ace will let uh, him replay the match and we will go from there guys. Hi guys, we're here now for the replay of match one on round two between Godwin on the German team from UK number fifth seed up against USA Battle Ace from USA 13th seed so Battle Ace has chosen to be a good sport uh, basically the rule is if you crash in the game it's up to the opponent to decide if you crashed on purpose and you can take the win if you want but Battle Ace has chosen to replay the match uh, because He's such a good sport, so two gentlemen definitely at play, Godwin the English gentleman and Battle Ace the USA gentleman, and has proven so by his actions. So Mimji here, coming from Godwin. So same buys as before, he likes the MG, he wants to put it down over here, Battle Ace straight to the center quickly, so I find Battle Ace does get to the flags fast, very Chinito-esque and very myself-esque. Uh, Godwin here does struggle to get to the flags uh, before um, Battle Ace does. In fact, even in fact, you could get there uh, as quick, especially on the right hand side and also on the eastern point. Actually, it's quite harder though because USA does have this area, this area for cover, where down here you can run one guy over here, but it's quite hard. You could probably one, run one guy to that well and over here, but it's more easier for the USA to get behind cover and cover the side once they get there. Center. Also easy for USA to run into there. Uh, right hand side. Um, also a bit easy for USA because he has that cover there. So <laughs> in fact it's hmm, a bit more easier for the USA team. So over the left hand side. So we'll see, we've, we've seen this uh, map being favoured by the USA players. Shotgunner, clear the way. And we'll clear the way for the the hold for this flag. Eastern point going up to Battle Ace. Center point, oh, grenading the the little house there, little portion of the house, not the actual house where you can go into. So Battle Ace always choosing to ignore one flag, going for two flags. So that's quite an interesting one there. And Godwin here, again behind in the flags, but now sending an assault squad. So buying the assault squad straight after the MG call. Battle Ace with that same MG in that position down the center. I think it's a good one. One grenade here as well. Finishes off the flank here from Godwin. And another full squad here. Going to try flank the eastern point from the center. Shotgun is though around here. Will be able to be out aimed by this rifle there if it keeps shooting. So that's the negatives I guess for the shotgunner. But this rifleman is struggling to take it out from this range. Just want to see him die. Come on. There he goes. But over here, center steel battle aces. Oh, what was that? Got one here with another assault squad coming down from the right here. So that first assault squad by ran, ran into problems in the center and ran into really a, a flag 
that's infested with a few shotgunners and they're having trouble to take it but the 98 rifles do out aim them so two shotgunners dead from just the rifle guy and his friend SMG and the center now MG42 doing a job trying to pin them down and center the micro wars the micro grenade wars going on as it is uh, known as Battle Ace is winning that so far Godwin really has no presence in the center except for this one Lone, lonely SMG there. Eastern point here we have Godwin here with another assault squad. Reinforced though by the shotgunners from Battle Ace here. Running straight in, not too much to stop them at the moment. Nice grenade as well, looking quite fast. Another grenade off. This guy is ducking in the cover. That uh, does get grenaded. So assault squad, squad over here in a quite an awkward position. They can't actually shoot behind these crates. This is actually an annoying part of the map for the Germans. This, these crates here. They just do nothing except block you. Can this shotgunner get some shots off before he gets killed? Looks like he doesn't. He's pinned down now. If he pops out, he's going to get shot. And there goes that shotgunner. But the other one over here has taken out too. So game revolving around shotgunners so far. <laughs> with Battle Ace using a lot of them. But center here. Um, assault squad coming in but Battle Ace also sneaking this area here to take that off um, Godwin. 17 to 50 Battle Ace is in a pretty strong lead at the moment and in the center has a lot of troops as well looking very strong so far as Godwin here is struggling to capture the center and the eastern point as well from a few shotgunners over here Western Point going to Battle Ace, half track here, MG, superior firepower from the USA coming down here. And counter here, 2-2-2, two, 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 standard counter. But Godwin is in risk of a 3 cap now if he doesn't move, which he is moving now and has finally capped this. So this is good, good sign here. He's still in it. And that there goes an easy counter. That uh, half track should be dead. And there it goes. Maybe needs to make sure he takes next explode before the 50 cow shoots him now from the pickup. Could be in danger. So here comes the SMG providing line of sight for the 222 to shoot down. 180 grenade here will be nicely placed. Sometimes it's easier to just go the 80 grenade because you don't have to cook it. You just run it in, throw a grenade, and you take it. And that would have killed two people at that stage. It has a bigger blast radius. Still it out very fast here. I don't think Godwin has noticed. Ooh, no, he hasn't. The main gun again. Bad luck there, like the other game. But this time... Ooh, it still does escape the skin of his teeth. Can it get it on the side? Oh, what a bait! Panzer Shrek here, AT Infantry... Uh, the AT support infantry has taken out the Stuart. This is um, a big turnaround here. Godwin is in good stead to come back. Panzerstreck, not just the... That's not the original guy. The AT support infantry picked up the Panzerstreck from his mate and takes out the Stuart. So a chain of events have caused the game to turn around here. Godwin can just run into that flag, capture it now. A squad here, also line of sight, but looks like his line of sight has been discovered. Marines are coming, but Godwin knows the Marines are coming. 2-2-2 two, two, two coming out to just shoot them before they get into there. Godwin capping the flag as well. Oh no, what is he doing? Godwin, are you crazy? Oh no, he has no line of sight. Not sure. I think he was just trying to take out a lot of troops, but uh, really, ooh, dangerous for a grenade here. Um, the escapes with the skin of his teeth, so was trying to get a lot of kills. I think in that stage, he saw the opportunity for a two to two to do a two to two twenty millimeter massacre, but that was not to happen. Watch him here. He needs another crew in here. One, I think there's only one driver in here from that Stuart taking the main gun. So he hops in. Look at that. Very nice. Low graphics, by the way, guys. Once it performance improves, and once I get my external recorder, I'm sure I can put it up to high maximum settings. So he does it the western, but Battle Ace has snatched snatched the eastern. So really, um, still has a deficit in the flags. 29 to 50. Center maybe to able to be capped. Only one guy behind here capping it from Mr. Battle Ace. And coming up with the Brandenburg squad down the center. They do have the weight of the cap, if Godwin just moves him right there. He should be able to outcap Battle Ace, which I think he's doing. No, he's going to just throw, throw the grenade, make sure that guy is down for good. And... looks like it is. Wow, did that bounce and hit himself there. 
Wow, that bounced as well. Didn't take him out. Unfortunately there. Godwin should have just moved him there. Uh, didn't have to actually micro it. So unfortunately still, um, the flag's going to Battle Ace and looking quite one-sided. Battle Ace is looking strong, in fact. Going to down Godwin, the favourite to win this game. 50-0. Oh, there he goes. Centre is now going to um, Godwin at least, but he's... Doing some Brandenburger defense here in the frontal lines here, waiting for the croc most likely to come out and also providing line of sight. That's the good thing about the Brandenburger, this guy can provide line of sight for things to shoot down, like the 222, and also wait for an unsuspecting croc to come by. It's actually very hard to see that Brandenburger um, with a tank. I think it's 15 yards, 15, 15 range before you can actually see it, and the Brandenburger can shoot at 30 range. That's now AS1, by the way. So it's a, I think it's pretty similar. 2-2-2 two, two, two here. So holding the center. Godwin po staging a comeback here just by his, I suppose, his positioning and games. Positioning, taking out the crucial Stuart. And now 2-2-2 two, two, two being in decent position to cover both these sides here. Shoot down this area here. Shoot down this area down there. And hold. So Battle Ace might be regretting this uh, gentlemanly act. But definitely he was doing well in this game, better than the previous game in fact. But Croc now, coming out for a counter but needs to be wary of the Brandenburger lying in wait and the Panzer Shrek lying in wait. No, that one's dead. No, it's not dead. So there's a few things waiting for this Croc. Oh, wow. Takes, wants to take down the house, get some, I guess, clean, clean shots for these flags. Wow, what a HE shell. Takes out like, what a big radius that did. That must have been standing. But Flame is here, trying to flame all of uh, Godwin's potential sneakies, but oh, we're at the Shrek. I don't think, he, see this is a dangerous position. Battle Ace can't possibly um, see this guy or flame him because he's behind this. He could just run out here, bang. Godwin's got, I think he's going to go for it. No, he's going to just sneak a bit more. Move back a bit because you can see some guys looking for line of sight. AT infantry is definitely spotted by Battle Ace, and I think, oh, maybe not. He's actually s coming. He's coming forward. Oh no, this is going to be a slow. Di oh, lucky there. That was very, very lucky. Could have turned either way. Godman didn't clutch that. Battle Ace got a bit lucky there. Two to two coming out though. Moving away from that croc. Gonna come on this flag now. Godwin may be able to force a three cap, moving some of these troops over here for line of sight and just run in there with the 2 2 2 support. There's a croc here. He's gonna try to chase it, but in fact, there's a Brandenburger lying in wait as well. This has got the shot. It has got the shot if Godwin wants it. He's got it on hold fire so it doesn't actually reveal himself by shooting at enemy infantry. But now it isn't. If it was DC, it could have taken it out. So a missed opportunity by Godwin didn't micro the area because he was microing this area. He wants this flag now. Assault Rifleman cannot take out the 222. He's got a 3 cap coming on. Croc here. So 10. Godwin is coming back. Battle Ace is decapping the center though. But here comes the Brandenburger. Is it going to be spotted? No, it's not going to be spotted. Croc is going to be dead. Flamer! Flamer! Oh! This time Godwin got it. So he got that and the croc is dead so mm, nice game uh, very close indeed that that time he did get it so he's got the center flag there but now 2-2-2 two 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 is coming to rampage on Godwin knows that Battle Ace has nothing to stop it wow he's actually capped that from Godwin even though he lost it he's in so Godwin winning the major engagement so far Sherman on the field now 2-2-2 two two two, trying to stop the cap at the center Sherman can take it out. Misses. Takes out his own Stuart there. He's going to try to track it. 2 2 2 is down. Not too sure what Godwin was doing there. Maybe just trying to track it and run away. As over here. Ooh, the H is out. So he's got the money he's got. Godwin's rolling in cash right now. I wonder if Battle Ace has got eyes in spawn. You can see how easy it is to sneak in spawn. Because look at this. This whole area here is not, no line of sight. This whole area here is no line of sight. Basically for both of these um, players, it should be quite easy to sneak through. I don't do that all games either. It's actually quite hard to do with all the micro happening on the map. But if you spend, let's say, five seconds to control a troop, to run here and move down, it can definitely do out of sync. What the hell? What the hell? Out of sync. This is no good. 
Oh no! They're never going to finish a game. What is going on? Godwin's been kicked through out of sync, so bad luck. I'm going to have to postpone this and we'll see what uh, Battle Aces move is now.